What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Hypixel Skyblock Hard Mode series. And I am literally starting this episode about five minutes before the next fishing festival is starting. So I'm going to be kind of rushing through some things in this intro just so that I can be prepared for it. But obviously just got to quickly say big, big shout out to every single person who has subscribed since the last episode. We are now less than 200 subscribers away from 80,000. So please, I think we can hit it with the upload of this video video but I need you guys to continue subscribing so if you're enjoying this series and you haven't done so already please 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 consider hitting that subscribe button I would really really appreciate it so yeah if it wasn't obvious enough by the way I did that intro and the armor and what I'm currently holding in my hand we are going to be doing the new shark fishing event for the beginning of this episode but this is actually not the first shark fishing event that I participated in I was able to make it to the very first one I didn't end up getting anything too crazy from that first event so you can see here I have have two and a half stacks of shark fins or so two blue shark teeth and one tiger shark tooth that's pretty much all I had left from that one hour oh and I also have some shark bait that I had crafted so we're good on that already for this event might need to end up crafting a little bit more but the shark fins are super super common so shouldn't be an issue at all and I actually am fortunate enough to have a decent pet for this event I have my level 85 uncommon dolphin so obviously could be better if it was a higher rarity but still pretty solid considering we are on the hard mode profile but check this out guys I just hopped into hub 3 and there is a massive fishing party going on so I guess I'm just going to join these guys I am currently nicked so you'll see there's no red name on the tab um, just so that I don't have any trouble with people trying to like kill my sharks if they want to troll me or something I don't know but yeah now it's just a matter of waiting we got about a minute and a half left to the event the one unfortunate thing is I will show you here my current fishing skill is only 22, which means I cannot fish up great white sharks because you need to be fishing 24 for them. But the good news for me is that there are still a decent amount of rewards that I can get. Um, I pretty much just can't get this final razor sharp shark tooth necklace because that requires great white shark teeth. I also will not be able to get the rod of the sea because that requires great white shark teeth. Although I'm not even really close to being able to craft like a rod of legends or whatever. So not too big of a deal. And then I also cannot get the legendary version of the Megalodon pet. But I wouldn't really be expecting to get that in the first place anyway. And there we go. The fishing festival has started. So let's get going for some sharks. And I will recap with you guys at the end about which loot I get. All right, the event has like just started. But I already got a tiger shark tooth and a nurse shark tooth. And the reason I'm stopping mid-event is so that I can go ahead and craft myself the first version of the talisman. Because somehow this is the first ever nurse shark tooth that I've gotten and the talisman is good to have because of the fact that you can see right there grants plus five percent chance to get shark teeth during the festival so yeah obviously I don't want to wait until the festival is over to craft that because it's beneficial to me well right now <laughs> all right guys event just ended some dude is just like wither skull spamming everyone here so it's really annoying to listen to I'm just gonna go to my private island to recap all the loot but let me just say at the very end of the event my luck started to pop off so literally just within the last couple hours of that third and final day I pulled off my fifth nurse shark teeth obviously I only have four here because I used one to craft this first accessory but the reason getting four in particular is important is because it means I can now upgrade this thing if I just put it in like this to the second version of the doll shark tooth necklace. But on top of that, within like the last three hours of the event, I pulled off my second and third tiger shark tooth, which is completely <laughs> insane because right before I did the festival, you guys may remember I showed you I had already gotten two blue shark teeth, which will be important in a second, but I had also gotten this one tiger shark tooth last festival. So I now have four tiger shark teeth and four blue shark teeth as well, which means I can go ahead and upgrade the accessory to the third version and on top of that the fourth version so this is literally the max version I can get because I can't even get great white shark teeth yet so at the start of this event I didn't have any version of the accessory because I had not gotten a single nurse shark tooth yet and by the end of it now we have the epic version which is obviously not the max but it's the max we can get so yeah I have to say I am pretty pretty satisfied with the results of the event obviously got some more shark fins as well but that's not going to be too important for now because I'm just going to save those to craft shark scale armor later on but unfortunately, in order to craft this, you need sponge armor and uh, 
Sponge armor is going to be pretty difficult for me to get because you need a lot of sponge. I'm going to have to do a lot more fishing if I want that sponge armor. So yeah, I'm planning on participating in at least one or two more of the fishing festivals before a new mayor is selected. But now that I've gotten the epic version of the accessory, I'm really just going to be going for shark fins. Like I don't even care about the shark teeth at all anymore. And with the fishing festival out of the way now, guys, it is time for our daily dragon segment. Now at the moment, I currently only have, I believe six summoning eyes. Yeah. So today we are only going to be doing one dragon but the good news is we should definitely be doing a dragon again next episode because i'm already halfway to having enough summoning eyes for it once again though my friends who i usually do dragons with are not online so it is time for me to find some random people to party up with all right well that was really fast already got a party i do need to go ahead and regen my mana but i will be double efficient and start drinking my pots while I am genning that up. <laughs> All right, cool. It looks like we were having some issue with some random dude placing eyes, but he removed it, so we are good to go. I'm trying to make sure, I don't know which of these items I need. Oh, wait, I need, need to make sure I have my runins bow down here. Okay, here we go, baby. First dragon in a little bit for me. Young, oh yikes, uh, pretty sure young is all trash for me. I don't think, once again, there's anything good I can get from this. Like I mentioned last episode, man, it just feels like we are on a cold streak with the dragons, which is, a bit unfortunate already in fireball though so this could be a very quick fight here it's literally dead already what the heck it literally just died in two seconds i think you guys saw the entirety of the fight right there oh my god it just got obliterated what did i even get did i get f yeah i think i got fragged because of that as well holy yikes okay maybe this was not the best random party i i might need to start being more careful um with future dragon parties Jeez, man, thank God that was a young dragon. If that was like a superior or something and it died instantly like that and I ended up getting fragged because of that, I would be pretty depressed. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> probably took me about an hour to grind all four of those summoning eyes just for a, a 30 second fight there. So cool, I guess we'll move on to something else. So now we are going to transition over into the big event for today's episode. So the hardcore slash hard mode profile um, is literally eight months and 29 days old, so pretty much nine months old. And one thing that I have never been able to do on this profile because I'm always super low on coins is go to the dark auction. But as you guys know, over the past couple of weeks on my island, I have had a bunch of tier 11 clay minions going. And because of that, I currently have a lot of coins in my bank balance. So today we are going to be taking out all 16.7 million of my coins and taking a trip to the dark auction for my first time ever. And not even just on this profile. This will be my first time going to the dark auction just in general, because on my old profile, I kind of happened to stop playing it right around the time the Dark Auction came out, so I just never had a reason to go. So yes, after nine months on this profile, we are going into the Dark Auction. Now, I am gonna say I'm going to try and not spend like too many coins. I'm thinking like maybe two to three mil at max because um, floor five also just happened to release today. And there are apparently like weapons and armor sets in that floor that are better than superior armor and 50 mil Midas, even outside of dungeons. So I definitely wanna make sure I still have some coins to my name um, when I start grinding floor five so that I can afford to buy those items from the loot chests. But yeah, um, according to my timer through Skyblock Adlands, the dark auction should be starting in around two minutes. So I'm just gonna chill at the place where Sirius spawns here and wait him out. I'm super pumped for this though, man. It's been so long in this profile and I, I just somehow have managed to never go to the dark auction. All right, and awesome. I have signed up to the dark auction. I know sometimes people have a hard time getting in. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that I for sure am going to get in. I was a bit nervous about it. But here we go. You actually can see I just got plus a thousand coins because this is the first time I've ever been to the dark auction. Secret area discovered. Now, once again, I'm not going to be spending too many coins here, ideally, because um, I want to save the money for floor five items. But if something decent comes up and it's not too expensive, I I'm definitely going to try and buy it. I kind of want to take a look around at my competition here to see if anybody is in like super OP gear that, you know, could potentially outspend me a lot. Looks like someone up there is in Superior. He might have a lot of coins in his name. Wow, first item actually ends up being the Midas Sword, which it'll be interesting to see here, actually, if anybody bids on this thing. Because like I said, there's new Floor 5 dungeon items that came out that are apparently better even outside of dungeons than the 50 mil Midas. So I wonder if people are even really gonna be interested in this thing at the moment. Okay, well, immediately it gets bid up to 52 million coins. So it looks like people are uh, definitely still interested in this thing. Okay, next item up on the list is a Sharpness 6 book here. Now, I'm 
if I remember right, these things go for 20 million coins. So again, not something I'm going to be bidding on most likely. Yeah, and there we go. Pretty much immediately bid up to 11 million coins. So uh, I'm not going to be putting in a bid on that. <laughs> wow, a legendary parrot pet. Um, depending on how many coins this gets bid up to, I honestly might be interested in this because, um, you know, we don't take God Splashes anymore. So... It could be nice to have something that would make it more effective for me to brew my own potions. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be bidding on this. It's actually not really that expensive, all things considered. But I'm just not willing to spend like 8 or 9 million coins to get a parapet right now. It's not that important to me. Okay, and then of course, I think this is always a guaranteed. The final item in the Dark Auction is the Flower Minion. I mean, in terms of minion slots, this could be useful for me to have. It's going to be one of those scenarios again where I kind of just need to see what price it goes for. okay well it's already up to 8.6 million coins yeah not interested in that i guess uh people just have too much money on the server for me man i honestly can't keep up with this uh, i was hoping for like a spirit mask or something i think i i could have maybe uh you know afforded to put a bid in on something like that but yeah i can't afford to pay 9 million coins for a tier 1 flower minion all right and the auction has ended kind of anticlimactic that i wasn't able to buy anything there but hey you know what at least we now have the experience of going to a dark auction and i know at one time not too long ago it was being talked about that the spirit mask was potentially a really good item to wear in dungeons. So if that's true, maybe I'll continue to keep making some more return visits to the dark auction in hopes of picking one of these things up. Because I'm pretty sure they go for like less than a million coins. So I could definitely afford that. Anyways, though, speaking of making money, as good as these tier 11 clay minions have been doing for me, um, we all know they are not the best minions when you are selling to NPC. That title belongs to snow minions. So over the course of the past couple of Jerry events, I have been collecting um, a bunch of different gifts. So right now I'm going to go ahead and just open all these gifts I've collected at once and uh, hopefully we can get some snow minions because I think that's really the only thing I'd have an interest in getting. So I'm just going to head into hub one here and try and find some people who are willing to sit there and open a bunch of gifts with me, I guess. Okay, looks like this guy might be interested. Let me give him some red gifts. Oh yeah, he's all for it, man. Here. Oh, we already got a snow minion. Let's go. Perfect, dude. Let's go. Let's go. I honestly was not sure if I was going to be getting any. Hey, wait, man, a, a bunch of people are down to open these gifts. Hey, man, if you guys want to open them, I will allow you to do so for sure. And actually, you know what? I guess the skill boost potions as well will be used useful for me uh, because there's no other way for me to get them besides through these gifts okay i'm now down to only the white gifts um still not going great i'm getting you know like 500 foraging xp 500 alchemy xp although i'm not in great need of that oh yes another snow minion wait where is it yes let's go two snow minions man all right i'll take it i'll take it okay and i am officially out of gifts so out of all of those two snow minions but that is a lot more than i was expecting i honestly had a feeling i was gonna get zero of them so i'm more than happy with two also got a decent amount of like skill xp boost potions unfortunately mostly like alchemy foraging mining enchanting i, I would have been more so hoping for combat i think that would have been the best ones to get or even fishing because i've been doing more fishing recently so uh yeah but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and swap out two of my tier 11 clay minions for snow minions right away so i can start working on getting the snow minions upgraded so they can start making me some major cash. All right, there we go. These two boys should be good to go. I'm going to slowly work on upgrading them over the next couple of days. And then I guess all I really have to do after that is just continue to go to as many Jerry's workshop events as I can and try and get more. All right, guys. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode here. But really quickly, before you click off, just wanted to give you a quick update on the thing I was mentioning at the end of last episode. Um, I decided I'm not going to be buying any of the skins from the community shop here because a lot of people pointed out in the comment section that if I buy gems and spend them in the community shop, it's going to give me bits which I could then use those bits to buy like some really OP stuff in all fairness, like these God potions that give you like every single potion effect for 24 hours. So yeah, it would not really fit into the whole idea of the hard mode series if I could just spend like five bucks IRL to get, you know, super OP items like that. But yeah, thank you guys once again for watching today's episode. Hopefully over the next two weeks or so, there'll be a lot more cool and exciting episodes of this series coming out for you guys with all the new Skyblock events. Like I said, the new Floor 5 releasing today should be a bunch of content to explore. So yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I know I am. And I will see you guys in my next episode very, very soon. Peace.